Seoul prosecutors summoned and questioned the former head of the state-run Korea Development Bank today as they speed up their investigation into a high-profile corruption case involving a local shipbuilder. Our Shin Se-min has the latest in the ongoing probe into allegations of corruption at Taewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. The former head of the Korea Development Bank appeared for questioning at the Supreme Prosecutor's Office in Seoul on Monday. Kang man who is at the center of a high-profile corruption case, is suspected of pressuring Taewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering to invest in a local biotech firm run by an acquaintance. Taewoo Shipbuilding poured 4.4 billion won, or nearly 4 million U.S. dollars, into research projects spearheaded by the biotech firm back in 2012 and 13, when Kang was the chairman of the state-run KDB. The bank was the financially troubled shipbuilder's main creditor at the time. Those funds dried up when Kang retired in 2013. Prosecutors are also questioning Kang about whether he funneled projects to construction firms owned by his relatives while in office. The 71-year-old is also suspected of giving loans to local seafood maker Hansung Enterprise, run by Imugen, Kang's high school friend. But Kang claims he's innocent. All my life I've worked for my country. Even during my time in public office, I didn't do anything that I should be ashamed of. I'm sure all the suspicions will be cleared up through the investigation. Prosecutors launched a full-fledged investigation into Taewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, the world's second largest shipyard earlier this year. They summoned the company's chief financial officer on allegations of accounting fraud last month, and several other company executives have been indicted on corruption charges. With the allegations piling up, Taewoo Shipbuilding is teetering on the brink of collapse as its creditors lose patience with the cash-strapped firm. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.